Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, for today uh, presentation uh, is uh, about C flow classification using digital image processing, which is uh, individual assignment for digital image processing project. Uh, my name is Mujay bin Ismail with the number uh, matrix number uh, S six zero three five four. Okay, okay. Uh, for the introduction. Uh, Sea uh, flow classification is a critical task in marine ecology, oceanography, and coastal engineering. Uh, it involves identifying and mapping the different substrate types that make up the sea flow, such as sands, rock, and coral. So, uh, digital image processing has emerged as a powerful tool for sea flow classification, for the to reach the accuracy sea uh, flow classification. Uh, that is important for a range of marine related application, including understanding marine, marine biodiversity, predicting the location of fish habitats, and assessing the impact of human activities on the seafloor. So one of the examples of seafloor classification using image processing is the work of Chen Jie Yang and, the, and his college, uh, which is uh, they developed a fast automatic method for seafloor classification using sonar image. So we move on to the problem statement. So what is the problem statement in this uh, case study? The first is underwater image are uh, noise and vary in light attenuation. Uh, this is because uh, is you know the, in the in the seafloor there is so many things. Uh, the sands, rocks, and fish, and the corals, and many things. Many things, and the image uh, intensity is not quite good. Uh, other apa then the in the uh, in the land ah because of the sun can can reach that deep so we need a development of accurate and efficient classification algorithm uh to have a accurate uh, reading of the seafloor classification next is uh, limitation of the traditional underwater uh, imaging system uh, such as low illumination, color distortion, low contrast, limited field of view, and limited resolution. This challenge is related to the acquisition of high-quality image and can be addressed through various means, including advanced underwater cameras and artificial light sources. So, uh, the next is uh, the need for robust image pre-processing techniques. The development uh, of accurate, efficient classification algorithm and the limitation of traditional underwater imaging system Addressing this challenge is critical for improving the accuracy and efficiency of seafloor classification algorithm, which has important implication for a range of marine-based application. So, uh, for the objective of the project, uh, why we need this project? Uh, first is to design and implement robust image pre-processing technique that can address noise, light attenuation, and water properties in underwater image. Uh, next is to evaluate and compare different classification algorithm including support vector machine, random forest, and deep learning based approach. Uh, other than that, to explore the use of advanced underwater camera and artificial light sources to improve the quality of seafloor image. Uh, the, and the last objective is to test the performance of the developed seafloor classification system on real world data sets and compare it to the state-of-the-art method in the literature. So the successful completion of this project will contribute to the advancement of seafloor classification using digital image processing and have important, important implication for a range of marine-based application, including underwater exploration, marine biology, and environmental monitoring. Go through to the scope of the project. Uh, so the first is uh, image dataset collection. Uh, the project will involve the collection of underwater image of seafloor from different sources, including public, publicly available datasets and image collected by the project team. Second is uh, image pre-processing. The project will involve the development and implementation of image pre-processing techniques that can address noise, light, attenuation, and water properties in the underwater image. Third uh, is the classification algorithm uh, evolution. This project will evaluate different classification algorithms, including support vector machine, random forest, and deep learning based approach to determine the most accurate and efficient algorithm for seafloor classification. And the last one uh, is the system development and test testing. 
The project will involve the development of a seafloor classification system that will integrate the image processing and classification algorithm. The system will be tested on the real-world dataset and compared to state-of-the-art method in the literature. So, uh, the scope of this project is limited to development of a seafloor classification system only and not uh, uh, involve the design and development of underwater camera or artificial light sources. So, what is the proposed solution uh, using digital image processing? First one is underwater image of seafloor will be collected from different sources. Uh, the next one is the collected image will be pre-processed using different techniques to enhance the quality of the image. These techniques will include noise reduction, contrast enhancement, and color correction. Uh, the third one will be features will be extracted from the pre-processed image to represent the seafloor characteristic, uh, which is this feature will include the texture, color, shape, and edge information. Uh, the fourth one will be the different classification algorithm, including support vector machine, random forest and deep learning based approach uh, will, will be evaluated to determine the most accurate and efficient algorithm for seafloor classification. Next, uh, the last proposed solution is the extracted features will be used to classify the seafloor image into different classes. The classification result will be evaluated and compared with the state of the art method in the literature. So uh, this is step by step the proposed solution uh, for this uh, problem and this project. So uh, we have go through for the uh, introduction, problem statement, uh, problem solution, and proposed solution. So uh, what is the expected outcome from this project? The first one, uh, the expected outcome is the improved seafloor classification accuracy. The developer system is expected to improve the accuracy of seafloor classification compared to the traditional manual or visual method. Second, automated seafloor classification. Uh, so it's expected to provide an automated solution for seafloor classification, eliminating the need for manual or visual inspection of image. Next is efficient seafloor classification, uh, improved marine-based application, contribution to the field of digital image processing, adaptability to different environment, uh, because the system is expected to be adaptable to the different underwater environments, including shell, shallow and deep water seafloor. Next is a big scale, scalability. Uh, so that is expected to be scalable to handle large volume of image data, making it stable for commercial and research application. Next, optimization of parameters. Uh, expected to optimize the parameter of this classification algorithm to improve the accuracy and efficiency of seafloor classification. Uh, next is reduction of human error and cost effectiveness. So I think uh, my presentation has come to the end and thank you for listening.